I can't believe that this space, which was a shop, is now so alive. I think it's an amazing place where you can feel comfortable. The amount of work that's gone into creating this, bringing an outside, inside, with nature, I think it's a calming place for people. I think it's relaxing, it's good to engage with people. I am James, I'm an artist and activist. I've been invited by Heart Glass to co-curate the Takeover Festival. We are taking over the old Argos store. We've invited 13 artists and they're all making work around mental health with a lot of local people. We're collaborating around a project that I've been doing for a long time called Mad Love and this is about imagining what healthy spaces for mental health could be like. I think it's wonderful. I think it's light, bright and it makes people quite relaxed. To be honest, I found out by accident. I was just walking along here where the old Argos is. They had an advertisement and like, I just saw it was for mental health and art and stuff and I, so I had to check it out. It seems to have inspired a lot of people and people are willing to talk and open up. I've learned about things that, that are going on in the town that I do feel passionate about but I didn't know existed. It's been an eye opener. I think it's really nice like raising awareness for mental health. I think it's an interesting way to go about it, like with performances and stuff. The yoga sessions, the talks, the artists and I think having it in the town centre, I just think it's been a really good use of space. I object to buildings just being empty. I'm fairly sure St Helens is the suicide capital town in the country and that's a terrible statistic to be in. And we have to look after ourselves and each other and it's good to talk about it as well. So places like this where you can sit down and talk to other people in the community is lovely. And it's giving, I guess, the people of St Helens a chance to discuss it, we need to solve it and hopefully we can do that together.